Hey everyone, it's Joe. Just looking at another um, interesting tool that we have as educators, which is Google Maps. I don't know if you've ever thought of about. I don't know if you've ever thought of it as an educational tool. So how do you find it? It's website googlecomau maps and mainly you know you can use it as a trip advisor which I do on my iPad you know get where you're going faster is their catch phrase which is really for navigation how do I get from A to B you can also use it to search for a business for example I want a coffee shop in Bundaberg and it will also show you the rating for it which is awesome it's a fabulous tool for imagery because it does link to satellite and you can drill right down to the street view and it's a 3D viewing tool of of a location and you can really zoom in and zoom out which is lots of fun and it's fantastic because you it is a digital map so you can then get a code for it to embed anywhere in any other digital medium like blogs or wiki spaces or PowerPoint presentations so it's fantastic um, you can access Google Maps by uh, your computer or on your device uh, being an iPad or iPod uh, or phone or a tablet Android or Apple and it's fantastic in education for learning about landmarks you can do a virtual tour of a landmark for example an author of a book or a famous walk like the Kokoda Trail it's awesome for collaborative learning uh, for example the International Year of the Polar Bear from 2008 to, to 2008. Um, it has a page within this website looking at earthquakes that occurred last week around the globe. It also has a page for map making tools in um, the My Map where you can work out distance and velocity, create a personal map and include uh, text and video and images within that map. So a fantastic example of Samar's model of uh, you could not you create the things that you can create with Google Maps if it wasn't about as an educator. So very exciting and thank you Google for providing this for us. Thanks everyone. Bye.